All right, hello, hello world. Uh, for those of you who were here momentarily ago, uh, when the green screen fell down, welcome back. We just uh, we just we reset there, so that happens every now and then, right? Everything explodes. I'm trying to fix it because there was a little. I don't know. I guess it just moved a little bit, like got moved back a little bit or something. Um, it looks like it's okay now. So, hooray! Uh, welcome, welcome to the stream. Um, this earphone is dying, which is not cool. It throws me off. Um, so tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to continue working on the little automatic video assembler. Um, I kicked around a little bit. So we did a bunch of stuff last night with FFmpeg, trying to figure out how to clip and cut videos so that we could give it a bunch of videos and then have it clip them and move them in together um, and do a little crossfade in between them. Um, the easy enough to do with like Adobe Premiere or whatever, but I want to do that with a bunch of videos. So I want to be able to script it. Um, so I, I already had it set up where you could do smash cuts. So, you know, one clip and then immediate smash cut to the next one. It's the next one. And then I spent a bunch of time last night figuring out how to do a crossfade. So it like, takes a second to fade in or fade out or whatever. The, and I spent a little more time. Hey, Vector, how's it going? Have a good night or a good, yeah, night. It's night time now. Also, it's dark and it's going to get like real dark soon when they do the daylight savings time thing, which is just not my favorite, not my favorite at all. Uh, but yeah, so we're doing, we're, we're messing around with FFmpeg, but I found um, and something I saw last night. Concat. Going good. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. I always like it going good. Um, I can't find it. GL? Is that it? This is it. So I spent all that time last night figuring out how to do this concat stuff, which I, I, I'm not angry about this at all. But there's this other... Um, Oh, you don't do daylight savings? Oh, interesting. It's just always dark there at this time of night, or this relative time of night, I guess. Wait, what time is it there if you don't do daylight savings time? Wait, I guess it doesn't. It depends on what time's on your end. It's eight Eastern here. That's all I know. And soon it will be this dark at seven Eastern, and so it'll be. Well, I don't go to the office anymore, but it'll be that at that point where if I was at the office and we left the office, it's dark when you get there and dark when you leave. And it's just like, ugh. Um, but we have this FFmpeg. So I looked at trying to do transitions yesterday and I found... Uh, hang on. 757. Okay, that's what I got. Where's the other one that I found? There's another one, FFmpeg GL something. GL transition, here we go. So I saw this yesterday and I, it looked really interesting. The trick with it is you've got to build or you've got to rebuild your own version of FFmpeg and I kind of didn't want to do that. Um, like I can, like whatever, but like it's all these other steps and I was like, ah, you know what? Atlantic Standard. Okay. Gotcha. Atlantic Standard. So I don't know. Are we in Eastern Daylight? Wait, what is it? Time.gov, right? Uh oh. Time's dead. Yeah, so we're in Eastern Daylight right now. Interesting. This looks different the last I haven't been to the site in years, but it looks different. Nest. Um hmm, interesting, yeah. And then they don't have because aren't there areas like here that are all different E because they have different time zones? Like this this map is not totally representative, right? Oh here you go. No, so they got it. Arizona Mountain Standard Time. But I thought there was time zones in here that were different too. Maybe they're not 
Unless it's daylight savings time? I don't know, whatever. It's not a bad little site. Interesting graphic. We're gonna put that in data viz. Data viz, which I don't think you can see. Um, but yes, yeah, so I didn't want to have to recompile. Um, oh, Puerto Rico. Okay. Nice. I'm assuming that's where you might be located then. Never been. Yeah, so here's here's all the build stuff that you could do. I just didn't want to do it. But what I found was this, which is a node thing. FFmpeg can cat, and it seems like you can actually just run this without having to read. So even though it requires FFmpeg to be installed, it seems like you can run it without having to rebuild your FFmpeg. Low breaking changes and low parker node. OpenGL is not supported when running node. 13.6, fixes and release a node. 13.7, fixer 12 is pending. Other platforms are such. I don't know which version of node I've got. Node version, does that work? 12.4, oh, okay, well, I'm probably in trouble. So this, wait a minute. Seems to work. Error, can't construct width. No promise, okay. Yeah, but let's just send it a couple, let's send it a couple of videos and see what happens. Um, whoops. Wait, I thought I put a, uh, well, this is gonna be a, Fun one if I can't type. Example files. Okay, that's what I did. Um, make dir. Oh yeah, I could throw it in a Docker container. That's not a bad idea at all, actually. All right, let me see how this can cat goes, then I may try that. Because I actually don't think I've got Docker on this machine yet. Uh, maybe I do. Um, make dir ffmpeg. And cat. C O N C A T. It's gonna anger me that those are the same name in a minute. Um, example files. Tiny for test. So let's just grab a couple of the <coughs> a couple of these. He says choking. One, two. What's the, um... oh, it went to Chrome. Learn Docker in 12 minutes, nice. I actually have to watch that. It's been a couple years since I've messed with Docker. I just walked through some tutorials on it and actually I may have actually seen this before. <laughs> Small Alpine image, okay, sweet. We may do that here on stream in a minute. Uh, all right, let's see. What's the cat T circle open D? What is D? Dimensions? Transition duration in milliseconds. Output and then input. Okay, so let's just see what happens. Concat T. Circle open dot output dot mp4 one mkv two mkv. Uh -huh. Unsupported video format. Oh, I can't do mkvs. Um, okay. Uh, one dot mkv to one dot mp4. How about that? Output file does not contain. Oh, wait. In. Out. Is that how you do this? Thank you. 
Oh, you just, maybe it's just I? There you go. And then ffmpeg input two mkv two dot mp4. Okay, so where's our concat string? So now we're gonna make these mp4s. What's it gonna do now? Uh oh, it's doing something. That's a good sign. Open output MP4. All right, let's see what it does. Oh wait, is that gonna be that full thing? I should have trimmed it. I think this is close to the end. Yep, well, that was it, that was cool. So when he goes into the Ferris wheel, right here, right here-ish. Oh, that's cool. That ain't bad at all. So that'll actually work. Um, and then, so what? What I want to do then? So let's try this again. So that was clip one, right? So thirteen meg for the MKV. So FFmpeg. Input one MKV. Uh, let's do this. FFmpeg trim video. I don't know if I've already got that in my notes. Fade in, fade out. It's a little bit what we're working on. Um, bu 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 um, trim videos. I think you just do trim and that weird start time thing. Oh, start second to end second. Video is a copy. If instead you want to specify fixed duration, you can use. This will extract one minute and five seconds from one minute and 10 seconds into the file. Okay, that's cool. So that's how we can actually make. So the command just clips, or it just uses the assembler, the concatenate with the transition, just uses the full file, but I don't necessarily want like, so that first one was a six minute file. I don't want that. So I want smaller number files. Um, okay. So let's start actually building this. So I think we got all the pieces. Oops. Oh, I did it again. I gotta stop doing that. It's just a pain. Hooks goes away, info goes away. Objects goes away. Refs goes away. All the rest of that stuff stays. Get in it there, and this time we do it into video. Assembler. Assembler. Touch. Get. Ignore. Grab our get ignore. Try 
which one of these days I'm going to put that back in. Um, Oops. Uh, it, uh, it's touch read me. Touch read me. MD. It is some blur. Which is videos together. Commit. Okay. Get a dev branch. Okay. Cool. 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 All right. PyCharm. We're gonna do some PyCharm, I guess. New project. Video assembler. Open. Uh, virtual environment. That's all cool. That's all cool. That's all cool. Good. Create from existing sources. New window. Oh, I need to get my gift down there. Hey, you know what? It's been up there a while. I don't want to see the screaming dude. I don't know, some Bruce Lee dude. Whatever, it's fine. So, okay. I gotta figure out how what the approach is gonna be here. <clears throat> Example files, MP3. Okay, so we got some MP3s. So the first thing I think I want to do is ran. Um, well, actually, I need to do this in order. So, new file, make video.py. Yes, please. I could probably just about do this in bash, but um, in fact, I'm wondering if I should do it in bash. Um, we're going to use subprocess a lot. So first thing I want to do is get Just tell me the length of the... How do you get... There's an MP3 info, I'm sure. Oh, duration, approximately, right there. It's the last one. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is get... Um, yeah, let's do it this way. Uh, Maker. Um, Annette. Self, go. Self. Um, MP3 DRA duration. See, and all this stuff is just gonna be calling EXIF tool. Um, oh, okay, yeah. So we we want we need the file path. Here, so let's do this this way, just so we can. We're not really testing, but we're kind of testing.
M equals maker. Um, you supposed to put prints on the end of that? I can't remember. I don't think it kills it if you do. That worked. And that worked. Eh, we'll do that. I'm not passing anything, so sure. And then so M MP3 path equals so we're in video assembler. We're gonna to want to go to actually we can do this. Um, example files MP3 and then copy a whatever. So I think it's that. And then M dot get MP3 duration. So this is going to be uh, sub process run. Oops, this, 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 exif. Tool. Oh, I wonder if this is going to be in here. And then self dot mp3 path print self mp3 duration. What's that going to do? Got to explode. What happened? Yo! Stop! I exploded something. MP3 path. Duration. Where'd it go? What's it saying? I did. Huh? MP3 duration. Missing one required argument self. Uh, that's how you do it in a class, right? That, maybe? Ah, yep, okay, that was it. All right, and then, so response is that. This is ugly. Um, if, okay, so we need regular expressions. I should be testing this. Um, ah, whatever, it'll be fine. Import RE. Oh, yeah. Um, this is Let It Me by Jeremy Black in the uh, YouTube audio free music library that they don't, they promise not to copyright strike you from. Uh, I think I've only got like 20 songs in this playlist, so depending on how long I go, you'll hear it 500 times. I kind of don't even hear it anymore, it's just like background. Um, so here, if, I need to look at my RE stuff. Pi RE reg. So that's the search, but we want to do ma capturing matches, right? So search gets the entire match group prints 1999. Oh, okay. So the, the whole top thing goes, that makes sense. Um, so if re search uh, duration whoops with any number of white spaces followed by a colon and 
any number of white spaces. And then... Actually, I want to go ahead and separate these. So, slash D plus, that's ours. Slash D plus. That's why I should be testing this. Slash D plus. And then I don't care about the rest of it. Because if we match that, we can be pretty confident that we got it. And then that is going to be for response. So if we match that, print duration, self print mp3 duration, wait a minute, what? Okay, whatever, you go away. So if we match that, print, Oh, wait a minute. So, how do you do a conditional? Would that. I don't know how that's going to go. Oh, I guess you could do the search. Wait a minute. I'm turned around. So match equals that because it's going to be, it's not going line by line. It's going to dump all that stuff to us. So we're searching the entire batch. So that gets the match. Let's just print match and see what happens. Expect a string or byte like object. Oh, we got to do, sorry, I know what we got to do. Um, pi run external process. We got to do all this. Nope, where'd it go? Pi. One of these days, I'm going to clean these up so that I don't have 10 of them. So that's the most basic. So that's running. But we want to capture. This is for Python 3. Okay, this is the one. Subprocess run, blah, 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 blah. And we got to do this. After that, I think. Nope. Broke it. Comma. Oh, okay, wait, wait. So that's that. Is that right? There you go. Yeah, so I'm just trying to get the duration. So I want to get the duration of the MP3 that I'm going to try to assemble because I want to know how to cut the videos. And then. I'll cut the I'll cut out random parts of videos and then I'll do the random assembly of the video and then I'll overlay the audio on it and then that'll be the thing which is ridiculous. Well, that's all right. So span match duration and then there's other matches in there too. So I think if we do match Pi regex capturing matches. Is it dot? Okay, so dot group one. So this should be a zero, I think. There's a zero. Two should be our minute, which is I think two. Yep. And then three was who knows how many seconds? Forty nine. Okay, so that's got our time. And again, I should be testing this, but I'm testing a regex and a match and a whatever. Um, okay, that's fine. That'll be fine. 
So... These are all going to be minutes, so they're not hours. Um, so minutes to seconds, or minutes as seconds. Minutes as seconds equals return match group two into an init. Int, whatever. And then same thing with match group. No, wait, wait, wait. Then we're gonna multiply that times 60. So. We're gonna, we're gonna turn it into minutes. We're gonna turn it into an integer. So two, zero, two becomes two. And then we're gonna multiply it by 60 because we wanna count seconds for the whole thing. So, see if that gives us 120. Good. Um, total seconds equals, this is just gross, but I don't care right now. Um, total seconds equals minutes is seconds plus an int of that with that. So it was 120 plus 49 maybe? So 169? 169, there's our seconds, okay. Get mp3 duration, so return, no, we just wanna set it because we're putting it in a class, right? Yeah. Is that where it was? Yeah. So that's that. All right, so there's our total seconds. One sixty nine. Cool. All right, and so now what's the right way to do this? Um I have more videos than that. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're up here. So those are all 1900s by whatever's. Um, I'm gonna do something manually here for a second that eventually I'm gonna build a script to do, but I just wanna make these all not have spaces, just, I mean, I gotta deal with spaces anyways but for file paths, but oops. I've got a command that I wrote that actually I should use on this. But yeah, but it doesn't do all of them at the same time. I got one that lowercases and underscores. Um, and I want to make one that doesn't lowercase, just keeps it whatever the cases is and uses dashes. Um, but they don't, like right now it only works on a single file. And I want to set it up to so you can do like star dot mp4 or whatever. Um, but that's for another day. Okay, so those are up there. Okay, so now, so those are all the raw ones. Um, Great thumbnails. That actually makes individual thumbnails. Can't believe I didn't copy this. FFmpeg resize video. Okay, so that other, that command didn't like MKV files. They just put one. If you'd like to keep the aspect ratio, we need to specify only one component, either width or height, 
and set the other to minus one, for example, that, okay? You'll calculate the height on the output and the result will have a dot by that, okay. So, because what I want to do, This is where I wish I was better at the command line. Um, so video raw 19 by 1084. Uh, so you could do, X, see this is where I wish I knew Xargs better. around argument list too long okay so for f and prime do with exec recursive find that goes to x args not with recursive find recursive with delete okay so If we pass that to XR, zero to RM, no, okay, we're gonna just get this one. First thing we're gonna do is duplicate that. So, 4f in star dot mp4 do ls f done so it should just print them okay so now do ffmpeg Where's that minus one one? Here it is. I so that's our input file. Oops. All right, these are for yeah. Okay, so I input file. Video filter, I think is what that stands for. Scale equals 160 by negative one. And then we're gonna do F dot small dot maybe four. So, Cause I'm not chomping the um, the base name off. Man, it did something. There's a small file that's 10 seconds, 160 by 90. That might have actually worked. There you go. Okay, that worked. Oh, so that's actually a trick is what's the shortest crap. All right, so I got to figure out. So I want I want a bunch of randomness in here is what I'm looking for. And pseudo randomness, whatever. So 
So... Hmm, well, do I want to do... Yeah, we're going to do this. Cut videos. Selfs. So, what's the Python run? Oh, so the first thing I want to do... No, it's fine. Um... Python random. I need random. Generating a random string. Random. Oh, look at all that. Xpath. Pi random number. Generating pseudo random numbers. Sounds like what we want to do. Mm, it's got a secrets module. Okay. Let's see right here. Let's just. Where's my stack overflow? Oh, stack didn't make the first page. Look at that. It's rare. Seed floating point integer. Good lord. Just I need like two lines of code. Maybe three. Seed the pseudo number generator. From an I wish that would go away. Generate some random numbers. Reset the seed. Generate some random numbers. Okay, so the seed. makes the determination of what the numbers are going to be. The seed function will seed, this, yeah, taking an integer as an argument, such as one or seven. If the seed function is not called prior to the using randomness, the default is to use the current system time in milliseconds. Yeah, so that's actually what I want, because I don't want it. I don't want to give it a specific seed. I want it to be random and like I want it to change without me having to change it. So, cut videos. Okay, so now, okay. Actually, let's do this, code runner. Uh, you. User bin environment Python. Get the random. Floating points, random, yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Random. Hello. You. Uh, my num equals random zero to 10. So if zit, We'll generate 10 random integer values between zero and 10. Okay, is that inclusive of zero? Return a random integer n such that a is less than n and n is less than or equal to b. So it can be zero and it can be 10 because those are both equals. Oh no. That is no good. Are they the over the ear ones or the, like the little bitty ones? I got some of the little ones that are good on airplanes, but uh, I haven't used the, the bigger ones. You have the worst luck with headphones, man. You're like, I know. A list for ran range A plus B1. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, random. There we go. 
over the year sellings too. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. So I've got the plug, the ones that go in your ears that are noise canceling and they, they do a pretty good job on like planes and stuff. Oh, but the bass is so bad. I've actually, I think I've heard that before about those. Um, that's a bummer is what that is. But I mean, is it bad enough that you want to return them? Okay, let's see. What's the right way to do this? So if we've got a duration, um, we're gonna add one to the duration, right? Cause it might be 158 seconds, 0.3. So we're gonna add one to the duration. Um, time remaining equals MP3 duration plus one. And then we're going to make a while loop. Well, let's just start. What's the right way to do this? Um, oh, there you go. Right. Yeah, just I like the environment canceling, <laughs> like noise canceling. Yeah, sure. But it's like an environment canceling. Um, oh, yeah, let's look at code runner again. Run my num run eight three yeah so wait let me go back to that seed thing where was that because if I'm reading this right four underscore and range of ten Well, maybe it's not. Actually, yeah. So does the seed change that was happening? I want to see this. I need to understand what's going on here a little better. Boop. I exploded something. Oh, I don't have seed in there. I also grabbed a whole bunch of other crap. Them from random import. What? How did I get there? Code runner sometimes does interesting stuff. So two, 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 two. Right. So if you use the same seed, you get the same result. Aren't what we want. Yeah. Whatever. Random num whoops num equals that print random num go one ten two craziness okay so let's actually put that in our notes pi random number Always produces the same sets of numbers. So I think it goes over time, but whatever. Uh, cool. Seven. Nice. So, okay. How do I want to do this? So I've got a, I've got a video. So like. The max number. So I want to. I want clips to be. So clip length is between four and twelve seconds. Oh, 
okay, but we'll get to this in a second. But we need to we need to floor it based off the time remaining. Um. Gut videos. <laughs> oh, Brandon is not defined. We didn't do that. Okay. We're going to steal this, this, this. Happy now? Happy now. Got it. Okay, so... Clip length is between four and ten. Before between four and twelve. But is there a Python floor option? Returns the floor of X, i.e. the largest integer not greater than X. Math floor. Wait, what? This one part math output. I want to be able to pass two numbers and take the smallest of them. Which I thought was four. Oh no, four. Method in Python returns the floor of X, i.e. the largest integer. Okay, so it goes from integer. Okay, okay, okay. So that's that's not what I'm looking for. Um, Yeah, I mean, which part of it? Like the the mouse over or the pop up? I mean, the whole interaction looks fine to me. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah. Well, so you're, I'm not the best person to ask about that stuff. Like you, my site is nothing but black and white text. So, but it, it doesn't, it doesn't, I'm not looking at it going, Oh Jesus, what's that? Um, So yeah, uh, but the real news, the real thing is like talk to a designer <laughs> if you got any designer friends, uh, and have them actually tell you. But uh, to me, it looks fine. Like it doesn't, nothing about it like screams at me saying, "Oh." So I think you're in pretty good shape. Like you're not, you're not in, you're not in land of oh my god, what is that shape? Yeah, it looks, looks fine. One man's opinion. Um, oh, nice. Right on. The uh, I didn't know they had a charge. I would have figured they'd just let you, like, however many people get in there, get in there. But um, I guess it's Google, so maybe I'm not that surprised. Um, oops, wrong window. Uh, Python get less of two numbers men that's what i was looking for not four python number method man refers to smallest of arguments or some args yeah okay the value closest to negative infinity negative infinity oh yeah five bucks yeah that's not awful 
that's probably just a fee to like keep people from just overloading the store. It's that the same thing like with email, where if email costs 10 cents to send, spam would just go away because there's a little bit of a charge to it. That's probably where their head's at with that. Uh, okay, so here we're gonna get clip length and then clip length is the min of clip length and time remaining because we want to make sure that we don't overshoot. Um, and then just for fun, ah, whatever, that's gonna be fine. Print, uh, probably it's gonna be fine now that I've just jinxed myself. So let's just see what that it's in there. 12, okay, so I got 12 that time. Now I got 11, now I got seven. Now I got four. Okay, yeah. So, it's 12 seconds. It's maybe a little long. 10 seconds? I don't know. We'll play with it and see what happens. Yeah, four, four to 10. Four to 11. We'll do 11. We'll call it in the middle. Yeah, I, like I really, I there was some interesting discussion way back about whether or not it it should cost money to send email. Because um, it's like you're, you put, you're costing resource on the server. Um, so it's not, it's not actually free to send an email. Um, and then secondarily, like all the spam stuff, but like when people are first doing email, like when it was first being done, spammers weren't like, nobody really had the idea of spammers in their head. Um, or at least nobody spoke up enough to be heard about it and solve it. But there's so much like, and then whatever Gmail came around and figured out that if you look at everybody's email at the same time, you can do some math to figure out who's spamming and got really good spam filters, but you got to give up privacy in order to do that. So take your pick. All right, so we got a clip length. So now what we need to do, this is just I, like, this could be ugly, ugly code. Um, Time remaining, so let's do this. So, see, it doesn't really feel right to put all those things in class variables or in instance variables. I'm just gonna, this is just gonna be a bunch of procedural code. That's what's going to happen. So we got our clip length. And now we need, so we need to get, uh, we need to get our list of videos. This is just gross. Ugh. Okay. Self. Video Whatever, I'm just gonna do it here. So I got our clip length. Nope. I'm gonna do it up here. Self video list paths. Videos? Videos. It's gonna make it a list. And then Python glob, what's the, um, uh, let's file directory, Python glob. Oh, see, look at that. Something ate it. Glob works. Oh, look at that. I typed, I killed it. Yeah, I don't really have anything to hide either. It's just it's I the principle of the thing. Um, blog. How about glob? Glob. Let's reverse this. It's just glob. Do you have to import glob? Import glob. 
Glob, Black Glob. Glob, 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 Glob. Schedule files. I'm pretty sure this is gonna work. Start at XML, whatever, it's fine. So here, again, I'm just gonna throw th things everywhere right now. Um, load raw video paths. CFG, H -H -H oh. that whoops, how about there? Um, pass equals, I didn't import glob, did I? Import, I can't get that right, glob. Glob dot glob, and I'm going to do the full paths down to it. So just for now. So that's nope. We want to do it. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. We've got all those files now. So we want to move all those small files out. So get rid of those. It's actually the backwards, but whatever. Video, video, tiny, 160 by 90, MP4. If I was a master of the command line, I could move these all. I am not master of the command line. Videos, tiny, 160 by 94. So we're gonna grab that directory and do star dot mp4. Print paths. That uh, didn't work. Oh, there it is. Um, okay, so, but the other thing we want to do is we need to know how long each one of those videos is. Um, duration. Okay, so we can get that. Because what we want, we want to make sure we don't try and clip it too far. So really what we want is videos needs to be a list. So for the path, load raw video paths, paths, that's a list. For path and paths, self dot videos append path is the path. It's the path. Stay on the path. Because we're going to add data to those, just so we only have to do that once. 
So load raw video paths. Print m dot videos go. And that should print us out path via. Okay, cool. All right, so now we get video durations. Def, get video duration, self, go, pass. Just make sure we're running. Cool, okay, so for video in self.videos, print video just to start, there we go. And then print video path. Path, path, wait, wait, what? Oh, 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 I'm, I'm printing down here too. I was confused. There's a bunch of paths. Okay, so now. Take care of some white space here. More white space, white space everywhere. videos okay get video iterations okay so we're in our video and now we want to do basically the same thing we did up here in fact we're just going to steal that match but it was different here. So uh, we need to find one. What's the biggest one that's in there? Uh, the 4.9 one. So exif tool, Finlandia, grep sensitive duration. I didn't spell that right. Oh, okay, so crap. Wait, track duration. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, it's got different formats. Ah, oh, it's a bummer. We could do one for seconds and then one for hours, minutes, seconds. It's more complicated than it needs to be. Also, I'm assuming it's there for all of them. Um, is there anything else in here that looks like time? Nope. Time scale 1000. Duration, yeah. Track duration. This height and width. L smash. Okay, so oh, this is where we definitely should have tests. But whatever. Oh, I guess I could actually look at those. Duration, where'd it go? So that's actually the exact same thing. So match, response, video path.
print match. So that's not always going to hit, but that's okay. Name response is not defined. Uh, right, because it's video. No, wait. Oh, 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 whoops. Right, right, right. You got to run it on the this. That was silly. I think I'm about to start adding tests to this. It's getting hairy. Those all matched, but some of them shouldn't have. Oh wait, it's 249 every time. That seems wrong. Response, match response, prince match, what? Uh, I don't get that. So it's weird because I'm like, I'm about to be testing other tools. Like, cause all I'm doing is calling other tools and doing some assembly with their stuff, but. And especially the loop stuff for video and videos response. Oh, cause I'm calling the MP3 path. Uh -huh. That's why. Now, so yeah, so none. So some of those don't pass. Yeah, this needs to split out to its own thing. We're gonna make some tests. Tests make video pi. Cool. User bin environment Python three. Import unit test from make video import. What do we call it? Maker. So you can tell us Maker. Look at that. Class. Maker test, unit test, test case. Pass if name main unit test main, right? Whoops. Whoa, what was that? I don't know what's going on there. Weird. No test found. Empty suite. Def set up, right? Self M equals maker. Def test tone. Uh, actually, I think we got this right. Python test. There we go. Run. That'll give us a test. And we're green. Okay. And I don't like to look at that anymore. Um, video. Get video duration. So expect 100 seconds, whatever. Actual 100 seconds. Yeah, I don't like those anymore. I was playing with it, but I don't like it. Let me take those out of there while we're here.
I wish it wouldn't jump up to the top like that. No. Test results show ignored. Show path. Oh, interesting. Sort alphabetically. Sort by duration. Expand all. Stack trace, set auto test delay. Huh? I get a single click. Select first fail test when finished. Okay. Scroll to end. That's better. Oh, but it doesn't stay on? It's a bummer. Soft wrap. Why don't scroll to end stay on? Doesn't make any sense. Whatever. Okay, it's fine. All right. So, task at video dura duration, duration, duration. So, actual equals m dot get video duration. I'm just gonna blow up because that doesn't exist. It's all good. Wait, run test. Failed. Okay, see, it needs to show me the bottom. Maybe see get video durations. We wanna get video duration. Oops. Ah, global. So, yep. Return 100. There we go, green, okay. So now we're green, now we can actually figure out the work. So, we actually want to pass a test to the, or we want to pass a whatchamacallit thing to this. No, wait. Path equals rf, um Video five. I'm just gonna leave that as it is right now. Okay, so we're gonna blow up because we don't have unexpected keyword argument. Yeah, 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 that's cool. Path comes in. Now I should pass, passing. Now we can actually do the math. So, um, tool response equals, now I'm gonna steal it. So process run, so process CXF tool path. And what, by the way, is the actual, we did video five, right? Video five, what's the actual duration? Oh, see this one. Yeah, okay, well, this is a good one to start with. This is one of our tricky ones. So we're looking for the number 20. <laughs>
Whoops. Keep doing that. Stop that. Print. Print. Do your tests. So if I run the wrong file, it tells me to do the tests. All good. All right, so we're just passing straight back. Get video duration. So we're getting, that should get the run for the file. Oops. And now this should just show us a whole bunch of junk. Nope, oh, did it again. There it is. Okay, now we can do the match. So, what I want to do is like a conditional match. Python conditional match with capture. Reg eggs. This is not what I need at all. Conditional regular expression. If search, maybe ABC regular expression. If search regular expression, rank group runs. See, that's, but that's gross. Gross. So we'll just do it this way. Match equals regular expression search. Duration. All right, so duration. Any number of spaces, colon. Any number of spaces. Any number of digits, dot. Any number of digits, space S. Print match group one, which might be 20. Do it again. This one positional argument string. Aha, did it again. Actually, match pattern one. Match pattern one. Of tool response. Twenty. Oh, yeah, so I could just do. Yeah, I don't need to truncate or anything. That's fine. I can just straight do that. Return an integer of that. Match group one. Run it. 
green. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Green. Green. Okay. Green. Um, sweet. Okay. And now def tests get video duration. You are a yeah, duration. Hour, minute, second. Expected 100. Actual 100. 101. Let's just make sure it works. Self, assert equal. Expected, actual. And it should bomb because we're off by one. Bring it in. Got it. And now we need another one. That's also in seconds. Um, the long one. Exif tool, Finlandia, grep, I, duration. That's a good target. Okay. And so what we're going to do, because we don't want to mess with the other one, we're going to call, we're going to get uh, actual equals m dot get video duration dev pwc actually let's paste this here and then video duration for pwc finlandia Get our path there. Let's get a break because we don't have a dev. So we'll rename this to dev. Now it should pass. Do your tests. I did it wrong. No, we failed. Make our object has no. Did I spell it wrong? Did I just paste the wrong place? Oh, it pasted it. It did that weird. Don't like it when it does that. Also, what's going on? Why can't I select? What the hell? That was weird. Takes one positional argument. Ah, aha. Path. Run. Failed. None type has no attribute group. Got it. Okay, so now we're in there. Uh, so let's do this for a minute. We want to keep that. We're going to bring that back in in a second. But we want to test this first. Match pattern two.
duration slash s plus slash s slash d plus slash d plus slash d plus passed wait how do we pass oh 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 because we, we didn't break anything i gotcha uh, so let's actually see what the number should be. Oh wait, we know what the number should be. No, we don't because we erased it. Um, oh, 324. So three times, what am I trying to do? 60, 180. So 204, 204 seconds. That's what we're looking for. So this is gonna bomb because we're not returning the right thing. But here we're gonna return 204, hard coded. So we got some backstop to work with. Good. Match group one was zero. Okay, right. So none of these videos are gonna be an hour long. Well, Okay, none of these videos are going to be an hour long to start with. To do. Fail hard if no. Time match. All right, so match pattern two, we got that. So I'm going to, I'm not going to worry about, um, Watch my thing. And it's a second, so seconds. And it's the seconds, match pattern two, 60, total seconds, total seconds. Return total seconds. What is this going to give us? Hey, it worked. Make sure it should be 201 versus 204. Yep, cool. Okay, so now we got to get these things working together. And so I think the way that we do that is we do this, we do this, and then we do if match. Return that. Elif. No, okay, so you do this. You just do it here. This is a weird. So match pattern two. Match. If match so this should still pass if I've got all this logic right cool okay and so now match group one okay so we can take this out of here Now to test this, we're just going to forward our response. Let's see what happens. Gotcha. So they're both working because we just we just forwarded everything straight down to that one. So now we rename this one as not dev. Call this one old for a second just so we got it. 
And then we gotta change the name here. See, this is one where I wish there was a better way to do this, because that's a bunch of moves. But so that's calling duration, that's calling duration. That's calling duration old. It just jumped. I don't like it when it does that. All right, so our tests are passing there. All right, it's cool. We're going to commit that because it's been a long time since we commit anything. Like, forever. I mean, like, never. Um, Unversion files. Ooh. Get ignore. It's kind of weird that it picked up those other ones. Basic start in progress. Come on. Okay, so we've got our maker. We're getting our we're setting our MP3 path. We get the MP3's duration. We're loading the raw video paths. Now get video duration. And so here's where we have print m.videos, right? This is this is the dictionary for each thing. Uh why can't I? Is this? There we go. Does that make it happen? Okay. Uh, yeah, so so there's a list of dictionaries. And so now we're gonna do get video durations for video and videos. Video Duration U R A T duration equals get video duration where path equals video path. Well, that didn't work. Mainly because I didn't uncomment it. Still didn't work. Oh. Get video. Oh, self. It's got to be self, self, self. Why did that crash? I would have expected that to have crashed. It's still not working, is it? Oh, do you gotta do Oh, so maybe it's just pulling in, it's not passing. Ah oh, crap. Um so you gotta do it by the index, I guess. Python for with index list. I think I've actually got this note somewhere. Using an additional state variable, such as an index variable, which you would normally use in the is considered non-Pythonic. The better option is built in the function enumerate, which is available in two, two and three. I have seen this before. God damn it, it did it again. Ah, you fuck. I gotta. And it did it on glob, dude. Oh, God. It 
did it the exact same place. Just doesn't like that file. Whatever. I gotta my I'm I'm overloading the hell out of this application. It's not hey, 666 words. It's kind of weird. Um, normally it, can, it doesn't have any problem, but I just I've got so many files in it that it sometimes is a little sluggish. And so I start typing when I think I'm up there, and I overwrite something down here, but then it jumps up there, and then I can't undo it. It's frustrating. a fantastic app but that is one of the things that gets me that's the only thing that gets me actually let's try it again pi yep there we go for index okay so we need to do this so for video index video in enumerate videos. Self videos. Video index equals dur duration equals all that junk. Do we get it? We did not. Oh. Wait, it just jumped around again. Okay, now I'm confused. Get video durations, right? We're calling it. Oh, ha! If this is it, it's gonna be funny. Turns out you want to actually put the um, print statement after you've populated the data. Small point of note. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Pixel, pixel videos, only four seconds? Eek. Three, is that really true? I'm gonna go all the way back to this first one. Three, six, six, no, three, six, six, five. Yeah, five seconds. Whoa, that's trippy. Cool. All right, so understood. Short. All good. Okay, so that's got our video durations. durations um okay i'm overthinking it right now we'll just we'll go with what we got and then we'll see how what happens i don't want to if i could go down a rabbit hole there okay so we've got the videos we've got the durations We got our MP3 duration. So now we really just want to cut the clips. And we got a clip length that we want to do. And then we're going to do random video. Random video ID equals ran from zero to 
length of self videos. I do kind of like it this better this way. Clip. Video. Format. That. That. Oops. All right, we're not calling that yet, I don't think. Cut videos is next, okay. Clip nine seconds, video nine. Clip eight. Seconds from video 11. Okay. All right, cut video. So we need a counter. Time remaining. So clip length, that minus time remaining. Where do I want it? So there needs to be a while loop in here that we count down time remaining. Where do we put that? So while so we've got time remaining. So while time remaining, we're gonna get a clip length. Which is that. And then here we're gonna subtract Time remaining equals time remaining minus clip length. And because these are hard seconds, eventually the time remaining will be less than the clip length or equal to it. Either way, it'll be it'll knock it to zero. So set the time remaining. This is the video. So while Time remaining. Is this right? Is this how you do whiles in Python? Whoops. If this works, there we go. Oh, video zero. Oh, video. Okay, that's fine. Video index zero. That's fine. Oh, but it could go two in a row on the same video. In fact, it will a bunch of times. Um, so you need to put in
random video ID. Previous video ID equals zero. So while can you use it before you define it? See what that does. Well, that didn't work at all. Uh, that's because we want to do this while it's equal. Mm, that didn't work at all. What? Oh, you got to re. Wait, then why didn't it go infinitely? So random video ID equals previous video. All right, I'll be right back. I gotta go use the restroom. Oh, I should put up my BRB. Because I was going to BRB. I did not do that. Shame. 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 Get one more drink. Bear back.
Okay. Hopefully you can't hear that mic. I don't think you can. Doesn't look like it on the meters. So while those things are equal, flip it. Got it. So I think what we need to do is recapture it right here. Looks like it did it. There's an edge case here I just thought of. So we're going down This is gross. We need to do this first. Because it's possible. So that one clip is like five seconds long. So we get so that gets the ID of the video that we want to use. What's previous video ID not? Oh, because we're signing it. Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. I really like that. Oh, man, I really pie charm. Good on you. So this gets our video and now we're getting a random clip length. We're making sure it's less than a time remaining, but we also need to make sure that it's less than 0.5. See, this is, this is where we should pull out to a test or something, oh, but not really, I mean like whatever. So the length of self videos, we're getting a random ID. So then we need to check here. Against that. Against that. That'll min us down to either the random clip length or the time remaining or the video duration. So whichever one of those is the lowest, 
will determine the clip length. And then we adjust time remaining based off that. List integers. Oh, whoop, what did I do? Uh, don't know how that got in there. Oh, come on. List index out of range. How is that possible? Oh, is the length, its length is, wait a minute. Is length zero based or is that like a total? I would have thought it would have exploded earlier. I don't know whatever the site is. Oh, geeks for geeks. It's coming up a lot. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's the not zero indexed, which makes sense. But so why did random video ID? Oh, 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 because we're just calling an ID, so it doesn't care. Like we aren't doing anything with that. It would have puked later. So let's do this, video index length. Video index, videos, zero index, video, zero. Index. Wait, do we need to? We only need to use that once, right? Because down there, that'll just make the random ID work. So we don't need to do that. Let's just do this. That looks good. Okay. Need a couple more of these. My logic off for time remaining. No, because at the end, I think it's okay. clips. I'm gonna eat all of these chocolate covered or dark chocolate covered almonds. 
one hundred dollars. Ah, I'm doing the thing again. idea how long that's been like that. All right. So the last piece of information we need is where in the clip to start it. Because we know which one we want. We know how many seconds. But we need to figure out where to put those seconds or where to cut those seconds. I was trying to figure out how we got two here since the random was only four to 11. But that's because one of our other, like one of our other links threw it down. And it must have been time remaining because all the clips are longer than two seconds. Well, that's good. Be weird out. Like you could refine that a little bit and say, hey, if less than six seconds make the last clip six seconds or yeah whatever that's a future enhancement get the thing going first nothing in that one So we've got, we've got our duration. Now what we need to do is create, so clip length. these a little bit for a second um so we're gonna have count video clip clip start Clip length time remaining. So for video counter random video ID. Clip start, clip length, time remaining. Okay, so clip start is gonna be a random and random and random mint. 
that goes from zero to the duration minus the clip length. Because we want to make sure there's enough spool out at the end for it to get there. Wow, clip start zero. It actually got a zero. It got another zero. This seems suspicious. Why is it getting zeros? Two more zeros. Something is off. Oh, I'll bet it didn't catch a duration for those. Video zero, clip start zero. 13 0, 13 0, 13 0. That's what's happening. So, one of those tools doesn't have a thing. So, this is what I was talking about earlier, where right here, no, that's MP3 duration. Well, actually, let's commit this for a second. Three duration, video duration. So if we get here, what we want to do, we want to print could not get Duration for you just do path there, right? If we're in an F string, is that gonna work? It's like an R string, but with F. No, I should have exited. Oh well, do that next time. I would have expected to have seen that somewhere. Yeah, here's 13 again. Five to well, uh, five hits it sometimes. Two zero. It hits zero way too much. There's thirteen again though. Three thirteen. I want it to choke though if it doesn't. Hit it. Unless it's somehow. Minutes is seconds, two is the 60. Which would be zero and then plus, so I mean everything, sh I don't know. The data worked, or the test worked. So I'll come back here. Self videos, random 
random video ID. It's not helpful, I can't see past it. Path. Let's make it easier to see what's going on. Clip start, zero, clip length. Wait, 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 something happened. Hang on. Was I just totally missing something there? Or were those not showing up this whole time? Oh, I didn't hit 13 that entire time. Clip length. We're missing clip length. What's going on with clip length? Part one. Okay, let's at least get that working. Forty going to eight seconds. Yeah, so it hits zero all the time. Video zero. Zero. Zero, zero. But it doesn't always do it. There's zero, six. What is going on with those? Duration minus the clip length. Hang on, let's just do this. Clip start, clip length is four. Start at 17. Okay, all these numbers look okay. 13 starting at two. Oh, wait a minute. Ah. Uh... Maybe the reason it's always starting there is because the clip length is always longer than the video clip. So it's always got to go back and do it. That is what's going on. Clip length, self video remaining duration. So, okay. So what is video 13? We need to figure that out. I guess we totally missed it this time. 13, there we go. Oh, it's that 3665, one which we saw there, 3665, which is five seconds long. So anything, okay. So if the clip length, which can be up to 11 seconds. Yeah, so most of the time, that's gonna be the full clip. So it should, yeah, okay. So it's, is it giving us zero? Clip start four, clip length four. That doesn't make sense. Oh, because we're not we're not backing it out. Hang on. Okay, so this is making sense again. It's doing what it's supposed to do. It's just I wasn't thinking about the fact that some of the clips were, or that clip is almost always going to be zero seconds. It's either going to be zero. It's either going to start at zero or it's going to start at one because it's a five second clip. And so it gets backed out and almost all the time it's gonna back out from a higher number. Okay, so this might this might be okay. This might be the right logic. I think, I think this might be the right logic. Yeah, clip start zero. Okay, so that's why we're seeing all the zeros is there you go. No, zero, one, four seconds. So it's that's probably three, eight, three, two. That's 20 seconds, right? So it got pushed back a bunch, whatever. 
All right, so I think that's it. So now we run the FFmpeg commands. Okay, yeah, so let's do this. Now let's do this. FFmpeg resize. Oh, I still didn't copy it in there. Is that the one? That's clipping, which we're going to do in a second. Where was resize? It's scale. Yeah, okay. I remember this. I just didn't put it in my notes. When you simply resize your video to specific size, you can use the scale filter. That's about basic form. Same work for images. Keep the aspect ratio, which we want to do using variables. Avoiding upscaling, which I'm not worried about right now. Uh, oh wait, I don't, I don't need to resize. I already got them sized. I do want to do this though. Explicitly put in um, uh, There you go I've got through size though. That's not what I need any clips clips Is that what I'm on? Hang on. That's for making gifts. This is where we're looking for, nope, this guy has a little, it's kind of cool. He's got his, it doesn't, that's funny. That doesn't look like him. It only take a few seconds to run. And instead you want to specify time duration. Yeah, okay, so cool. a specific start to a specific end. This goes from a specific start through a specific through a duration. Defined duration. Duration. Which is what we want to get. I 
I have a long video recordings I don't want to split or trim. Temporal transformations. Split and trim videos. Most of the are. These will typically also recompress or export the file. This reduces the quality of video. Our solution is problem lossless. The Wonder Tool FFmpeg. It has a ton of different options and our room, so here it is. Are you on Twitter? Ah, September 22nd. Okay. Let's see if this guy has a RSS. Ooh. ARJ.no. That's good. Short domain. Finding feed. People. All right, Alexander. We'll follow you. Too bad you don't have a uh, Twitter. Probably, oh, you do have a Twitter. He retweets a lot. Ooh, that's cool. Can I just click on this and get to him? Tweeting cool stuff. Real time auto processing. Here we go. Here he is. Hello. That is a scary number. Oh, it's his location. Nice. Music researcher. Oh, that's cool. Followed by Bert Terpster. Oh, okay. That's slick. I like Bert. Bert, Bert Terps is the person who wrote NV Alt, which is the application that I love. What was I doing? Uh, so now let's just make the FFN. So, right. So we can actually just make the command. Like we can, yeah, I think we can assemble it. I think we can like do a fire run here. Fire run? Trial run? Something. So print. It's gonna move it to its own line. Dot format. So we're prepped. So No, we want to do this. Oh, I wonder if you have to do start time. Hopefully you can just pass seconds, straight seconds. So I think if we just fill this stuff in. So this is going to be self video random ID path. This is going to be clip start. That's going to be clip length. Copy, 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 copy output. So output is going to be counter. MP4. See what happens. Oh, wait. No, those are them. Those is them, but we want to put a quotation around that and we're going to put a quotation around this even though that shouldn't matter because it's just going to be the same thing but just as a a 
thought that crashed, but I think that's actually what we need. Okay. Oh, it's not gonna do it, is it? Could be sublime text. So save that. Now I think what should be able to happen. So I go to my desktop. Well, actually no. Yeah, 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 it's desktop. Video test create, and then run ffmpeg.bash. Desktop video test. User execute run FFmpeg. <laughs> so now there's a whole bunch of files. Please tell me there's stuff in there. Oh, it didn't do any. It didn't. Uh, oh, wait, there it is. Nope, something's jacked. Something's jacked. Something's jacked. All right, we're gonna do start from zero. Oh, God. Oh, and actually I'm gonna do, well, it's fine for now. Um. We're going to do a yes here so that we don't have to keep deleting them. Oops, space. Front videos, front F of my. Zoop. Crap. 134. Oh, wait, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's drop the audio. Why isn't that working? Oh, why didn't that working? Yeah, see, there's nothing in it. It's got, but it knows it's eight seconds. Okay, we're we're in progress. Like we got all the, we, I think we got the math. We just aren't doing the right thing somehow with FFmpeg. sections. Huh. I've been to all these pages before. Probably don't have a key frame at this three second mark because none. They require all the data. Sorry. The MP4 container is possible to cut a non key frame without re-encoding using an edit list. In other words, if the closest key frame before three seconds is a zero, don't copy the video starting at zero. 
can use the edit list to tell. If you want to cut precisely starting at a non keyframe and you want it to play starting at the desired point on a player that does not support edit lists, or you want to ensure that the cut position is not actually in the output file, cut portion on the output file. Reencoding so that there will be a keyframe precisely at the desired start point. Reencoding is the default if you do not specify copy. When reencoding, you may wish to include additional quality related parameters. Blah, 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 blah. Team, why, see, why is the async in there? I don't know what that does. Oh, I really wish. Try it without async. Okay. So if we just do. If we take that out, is that what it's saying? Yeah, input movie, start time, that, and then the other people say to drop async. Well, let's see what that does. Uh, I forgot to try it. We might as well try it with all the way, right? Go. Oops. Oh, it's, it's doing something different. It's taking longer. That's a, probably a good sign. I'm seeing all those blue things. <gasps> I see stuff. Sweet. Oh, why did 25 not work? Why did the last one not go? Something happened with the last one. I bet my math is off on the last one. That's why I was wondering about this. I feel like something's weird here. Time remaining. Clip, clump length. I can't figure out where it is, but I think that logic's wrong. All right, we're going to do this. that doesn't work in which case see below tells it not to Code sometimes causes issues related to keyframes. Try removing copy.
That's funny. I, I yanked the audio, but not the uh, not the video. Um. Okay. So where where is this logic going wrong? Um. So time remaining is the start, right? And we adjust time remaining by dropping the clip length. Which has already been determined. And it can't be longer. Wait, wait, hang on. I just want to see start zero for three seconds. That was 24. Wait a minute. How are there 25 videos? Did I rerun the command? Is that what happened? 24. What? Oh! That's an old one. Well, that was one of the ones that had the problem earlier. Okay. So it did work. I'm debating adding a star dot or rm.mp4 there. Um, so there's that. It all should be the si same size. Yeah, okay. Okay, now we need to do the FFmpeg concat command. Oh, but is that, hang on, is that gonna, hmm. Can you only pass one? I don't know why I always go to like the fifth link. Yes, yeah, it's the same. This is just the same thing. That looks like a crappy site that just scrapes stuff. And that's the NPM stuff. Okay, here's the. Oh, that was a bug. Whatever. So in the command line stuff, options, videos, options, output version, transition name, transition, transitions file, JSON file to load transitions from. That's what we're looking for. Number of videos to process in parallel default four. Enable clearing up of temp frame, temporary directory, directory stored data. Enable verbose logging for FFmpeg, output use of Okay, so this this is what I was looking for, I think, that we can do uh, a file with different, because I was afraid you could only do one transition type. And I want to I want to randomize those as well. Yeah, transition or transitions. You can do it in a watch my thing. So I just need to see the JSON. Transitions file. So I'm guessing But it doesn't tell us what the transitions file format is. 
Reed's probably where we are. Oh, come on. I need to get... I need to find that. I probably want to go in lib. Wait, what's in media? Concat audio source. Examples. There you go. Lib. CLI.js. Let's see what's in here. Version package. JSON parse. Read file sync program transitions. So what's the, okay, so it's gonna be the same format. Probably. Videos, output, transition, whatever, transitions. So I think this is what we're gonna want. So that's working. Somewhere in here, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I'm just gonna try some stuff and see what happens. Cause like, what if we do this. Save that. Conf.json. Desktop video tests. We're already there. FFmpeg concat. Dash T conf.json. So that's the option. And then videos. And there's four in there. So one, two, three, whoa, four, five. And then we need an output. Where's the CLI usage? Okay, do A, you do O first. <laughs> unexpected token, unexpected token T in JSON at position eight. Doesn't put that where I'll see it. Can't. Uh, do you just start here? Let's try this. This isn't. I always think you're supposed to start with a. Um... Crap. Unexpected took on in. Token, whatever in. So what's the? Oh, we need the format of the JSON. Leaving me hanging. Concat. So that's. I mean, that's a JSON right there. That's what that is. Unexpected ticket. Oh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I understand what's happening. It's not JSON. This is JSON.
And we're just going to drop all those for now. And see if we can get one to work. Save that. And let's put that in double quotes. Nope. Why is that four spaces? Okay, whatever, it's fine. So there's only one transition in there. Oh, come on. Number of transitions must be equal to the number of videos minus one. Okay, okay, okay. Transition one. Wait a minute. I think that's what I did. Transitions. There's one there. Three dot four. What's that gonna do? Nope. Okay, we'll go the other way. We'll add one here, which does not make sense, but we try. Number of transitions must equal number of videos minus one. I believe you, and I thought that's what we were doing. Wait a minute. Just in case. I think we got it. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. So we need to make a JSON file for each one of these. Um, oh, that's a bummer. I was hoping we could just run the straight commands. FFmpeg. videos minus one okay 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 so let's figure that out so we've got <sighs> okay Intro, GL transitions, install, CLI, usage, API, transitions, right? Yeah, okay, so you, that's your JSON right there. Just split it. <gasps> Path or URL to an audio file to use as an audio track for the output video. 
if parameter is not provided, assume your user wants to concat the source scene audio. Oh, tell me I can throw audio in there. Oh, it doesn't look like it's got it in version, output, transition, duration, transitions, frame, concurrency, no cleanup, temp. Oh, man, it would be awesome if it could just do that right there. Frame, concurrency, audio, C. choke on that so pwc where is our we're in dev uh dev example mp3 a It's only 20 seconds. No, okay, didn't work. Oh, of course it's only 20 seconds because we're only doing the first part of it. That's fine. Okay, we're cool, we're so close. So now we just need to make the JSONs, or we need to make a JSON file with all these. <laughs> uh, okay, 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 okay. Transitions. Oh, we need commas. Everything still compiles. Okay, so so count is our total number of videos. And that's where we add counter. So like right here, but we want it to be count minus one. Well, so wait, wait, hang on. It could have ended up here, in which case this is off by two, not by one. But whatever, we're just gonna make um, uh, 
We're gonna make a JSON. Uh, we can get rid of this. Again, this is just ugly code. So, but I'm that's where I'm at right now. Um, so. Transitions equals a list. With open, I'm just going to put it right on the desktop for right now. Right as JSON config or JSON file, whatever. JSON dump transitions JSON file. So let's just make sure that works. This should be empty. Okay, cool. Of course, I completely lost the format when I did that. <laughs> uh, transitions, okay. So duration, fade. Well, so what we could do, if you go through, trying to see if we could add these while we're going through. But if you start, no, you're going to be off by one. But we could just nuke it. So just anywhere in here, you just make the transition. That way we don't have to create another loop. Like we've, we've already got our loop. And then we just roll one off. Um, so. I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do a random nice on the number of seconds or the number of milliseconds, whatever. Uh, not yet, anyways. So let's also I don't know how you do that in um So I want to do, where were our, okay. Let's 
So we print our JSON and then concat string equals that audio didn't work we can take that out and then for i in counter concat string equals Base dot mp4. And cut string counter. And cut string. Holy crap. Wait, hang on. No. Oh. In object is not arable. What? For loop with range, okay. So for I in range of one to counter. Since it's one based. Everybody good? This is super interesting. Wait, why? Oh, whoops. That was wrong. We gotta get outside the loop. While JSON. We can also move that one back too, right? Ooh, what just happened? One of these days I'm gonna learn how to hit that hotkey. Because we only need to dump the transitions at the end. Okay, let's see what this does. Oh, come on. Counter equals counter equals one, okay. Wait, so that's in the loop. Ah, oh, crap, okay. Okay, I think I got a solution for this. So concat string. We're going to start up here. And then every time through the loop, I'm just gonna do this right up top just because it's close. So concat string, we're gonna add the, the video to it. Print it when it hits down here, and this comes up here, and that goes there. 
with Jason. So this should be able to come back. Oh, God. Really need to see if we can remap that at some point. Huh? Huh? Uh oh. I should put quotes around all those things. But... It's doing stuff. Oh, come on. Number of transactions once equal minus one. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So hang on. Let's burn one of these. Uh, I could have just run the last thing, but. It's a good sign. It's a very good sign. Created private. Oh, okay. Wait, it did something with MP3s. What the was that? Man, I wish you could deal with the audio. Right there, we'd be done. As it is. Also. Is there audio going? That's kind of cool. All right, so last thing for now. Well, so let's actually let's build the FFmpeg command to put audio on top. Place audio and video. You want to copy the video screen without re-encoding it to save a lot of time, but re-encoding the audio might help to prevent incompatibilities. Video mp4 a.wave c video copy map 0 v0 map 1 a0 new mp4. Maps the first index, index zero video stream from the input to the first index zero video, the output stream. Max the second index audio stream from the input to index zero of the audio stream. If the audio is shorter than the video, longer than the video, you want to add a minus shortest. Okay. I like this. This looks good. So we've got our MP3 file. We've got our output file. M, M dot M 
add audio. FFM hang tag audio. Add audio. Add audio command. doing this all kinds of all over the place I get it I totally get it like that's just gross but <laughs> um, and actually oh wait a minute I can if I turn this off because all I need is Oh, it's still doing all the video stuff. What's it doing? Get video durations. Okay, we don't need the video durations right now. Does that go faster? Super. Okay. So that's the command we're looking for. Wait, where'd it go? What the hell? Oh, come on. Sometimes I like the help. Sometimes I do not like the help. Audio command. Oops. For right now, the video is just going to be underscore output. Output and before. I'm going to put this in single quotes. And this is going to be Why is that angry? That shouldn't be angry. Wait, where did my quotes go? That was weird. I see what I did. Uh, self MP3 path. Return audio command. Output with sound. Uh, why is it going to dot dot slash? That's not where it's supposed to go. Oh, crap. Um, we're just going to hard code that for right now. Get it working. So we're going to add shortest. Because that way we make sure that the audio, that may clip the audio just a little bit, but it'll 
Oh, we should add a second to the video and then clip it that way. I can do that by... No, this works. This works because I've, I've already added a second to the video. This works. Where's our path? Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to see if we can make it go. How do you... Um, can you pop in? Move one transition. Do match spaces. It does have pop. We're just going to try the whole thing. <laughs> FFmpeg call. Okay, okay, okay. Oops. Wow, that was not what I meant to do. sound that's pretty cool That kind of freaked me out. I wasn't ready for that. Yeah, so now what I need is just a ton of video. This this fits pretty well with this. Yeah, let's go all the way through it. Here, see how it ends. Oh, it's that same woman, yeah. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of repetition with this. I should probably up the times some. Oh, it ends with bears. Oh, it should fade it out too. Wish I can do an FFmpeg. <laughs> this is fun. Um, okay, that's... I think that's going to be enough for now on that. This is ugly. But, like, that ain't bad. 140 lines of code. And there's a bunch of stuff that could be cleaned up, right? So, like, whatever. Um, that's pretty cool. Oh, I need to, I need to randomize. Yeah. So here, let's add some to do's in here.
loop through MP3s. Don't hard code MP3. Set output paths directory. Fade out video. Uh, so Five to fifteen, fourteen. Play with clip random length. That's where we're going to put the fades. Remove one transition max specs, right? Or a bunch of spaces. Get the F3 duration, or MP3 duration. Oh, um. Let me do this one up top. Die hard if you don't get a duration for a video. So you could yeah, like you could refactor some of this stuff out too and just make one call for getting durations from stuff because it's all using the XIF tool. And you could basically just match pattern match and say, hey, like here's the, you know, give duration for a file and then get value back. Um and just have one function call for that and just do the the testing there one way. Hundred and thirty five lines. Still gotta loop still gotta loop the MP threes. Because the whole the whole run of this is loop over all the MP3s, then make videos for all of them with all this random stuff coming in, um, and just produce them. 
and then later there will be a thing that actually uploads them all. But for this, it's just it's just making the videos. Um, so yeah, now I just need a bunch of the trick is I just need a bunch of raw footage um, that we can use for it. Um, so I'll be looking for open source stuff. Um, that'll do it for tonight. I think I'm gonna play with the NASA API a little bit, but I'm not gonna do that on the stream. Um, this is in good shape. It'd be even cooler when we change up the um, transitions. And like, it's basically just a whole bunch of procedural code, but like, I'm not sure. Well, it would be an interesting thing to try and figure out how to test that. I just, I couldn't get my head around it when I was first looking at it. Um, I just kind of needed to do it. The, because like the output is video. But I guess really, I guess really the output was the commands. That's what I, that's, that's where I could have started is like assemble a set of commands and then back into them um, that way. Taking out the randomization basically and saying, you know, you, you feed it numbers and then say, you know, here's here's an array or whatever. Um, and but yeah, cause all this stuff is really doing, right? Is it's just making, it's making a bunch of random decisions And then some counters or a counter. Yeah. Yeah, there's not <laughs> there's not a lot to it, but it's does a lot of stuff. So that's cool. Alright. Y'all have a good one. Take care. Be kind. We'll see you next time.